I'm Helen Hunter, Principal Embryologist at the Department of Reproductive Medicine here at St Mary's Hospital, Manchester. We perform around 1,400 cycles of IVF and ICSI each year and around 500 frozen embryo replacement cycles. At the moment, all of our patients are funded by the National Health Service and uh, we have a mixture of um, groups of patients. We treat ladies from the ages of 23 up to 42 and the vast majority of our patients um, do not have children of their own. So here at St Mary's we've been using time lapse for um, a couple of years now, since about 2013. Uh, we initially had one embryo scope and we liked it and we liked the results we were getting from it with a small group of patients. So in uh, 2014, over the summer, we had two more embryo scopes installed and since then we've been able to use it for around about 60% of our patients. Um, we decided to, to buy it because we could see the benefits using one embryo scope and also there was a lot of data coming out from other clinics that showed that it improved outcomes and we felt as an NHS service that we owed it to our patients and to the people that, that pay their taxes to be getting the best results that we could for our patients. So there are two ways that time lapse helps um, improve outcomes and pregnancy rates. Um, the first is that it's a very controlled environment and you don't have to disturb the embryos to look at them. Uh, you're not changing the temperature or the pH by taking the embryo out of the incubator and putting it back again. The second reason that time lapse is a good tool is that it helps to select the embryo that is developing at the, the most optimum rate um, and there are measurements that we can take of all the embryos um, to help us to select the best quality embryo.